your a square. Today we have to create a function and the function takes a square number as an input and we have to determine if it is a perfect square or not. And what is a perfect square? Well, perfect square is the product when you multiply an integer with itself. Take the test examples here. Is zero a perfect square? We are, well, yeah, it is. When you multiply zero by zero, you get zero. And is three a perfect square? No. When you multiply one by one, it would be one. When you multiply two by two, it would be four. So four would be a perfect square and three is not. But what we have to do is to actually determine what the initial number is. That's called the root. And for that, we have a built-in function. But first of all, we have to import the math library. So at the top, we type import math. And first of all, we have to determine the root. The root is equal to math.sqrt. And it takes as an input the actual integer would be n. And let's print out the root here. Test it out. We have a mat domain error. Okay. Oh, that has probably to do with the negative integer there. First of all, we have to define a condition that all the negative numbers would be filled out. So if n is less than zero, we have to return false right away. Let's test it again. And from here, we have to define a second condition. So if the root and then squared is equal to the actual input and the perfect square, then we should return true. And in all the other cases, we just should return false. Well, let's test it again. And there we go. That's the attempt. And this should be the solution. I hope this video has been useful. I hope to see you in another video. Ciao.